What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer. If you're returning, thanks for checking back in. Today, I'm just going to talk a little bit about this B-Fight 210. Now, this was the first model that I've seen that had that smart audio or whatever you want to call it, where you can just change the VTX channels with the transmitter. But I never got to experience any of that because when I first received this model, this thing wouldn't even bind to my Tyrannus. I couldn't get it to bind to my transmitter. So I did a search online to find out how the heck can I get this thing to bind to my transmitter. And it turns out that they have a wire on this thing coming from the VTX and running to the receiver in order for you to be able to change the VTX channels on your transmitter. And that was actually stopping the quad from binding to the transmitter. A bunch of others were saying this online and so right away I went to that signal wire and I removed it and as soon as I removed it I was able to bind to my transmitter. I also heard stories of people reaching LVC and having their VTX just cut out on them or change channels causing the video to cut out. So I just didn't even bother with any of that and I just flew it the way it was without the wire connected. Now. Aside from that, this thing has been a beast. It's been a really nice quad. This thing is really light. I think this is the lightest quad that I have now. And I pulled this receiver out to the side so you guys can see it. It came with this little tiny D8 receiver. Although you would think that you shouldn't get much range with it. I was getting really nice range with it. But then again, I only flew this thing really out on the strip. And I really don't fly too far from myself on the strip. And then I flew this out in the park. And I guess because it's a wide open space, I didn't have any problems at all with reception with this as far as the signal with uh, controlling the craft. Now, the VTX, on the other hand, it only came with this little <laughs> dipole antenna here connected. And that's good for crashes and all. I've crashed this a bunch of times. And it's still holding up. It's not going to break. Nothing's going to happen to that. I'm convinced. But I think using a closer, but I think using a clover leaf would probably give you better reception. The reception isn't the best, and you can switch it out with this little micro connection here. You can pop that off, and you can pop an extension in here where you can uh, screw it up in this hole and have a normal size antenna there. But I never did it. I went with it this way because I really like this for line of sight flying the most. So this thing is a beast. Line of sight is very light. Feels really light in the air. Very agile and nimble. Closest thing to this was the Furry B Dark Max. And I think this has more punch than the Furry B Dark Max on 4S. Now the Furry B Dark Max supports up to 6S. And I'm pretty sure this thing isn't going to be able to compete with the Dark Max once you put it on 5 or 6S. But on 4S, this thing is faster. It punches out faster anyhow. I think it's a little light uh, to be uh, competing with it in fast forward flight. Because I think um, it just seems like heavier quads might fly a little faster for me anyhow. Um, it's harder to get these moving really fast in a straight ahead direction without just pitching all the way and hitting the throttle uh, to the very top or close to the top and then it's harder to control that way but this thing is a really nice quad a really awesome freestyle quad and it's a really nice line of sight quad it came with these props on here these this was the first time i ever saw the gym fan 51, 52 props, and these became my favorite props. I still like them to this day. Although I must say that I think that they might be being replaced. I don't know yet. Because these props came out now from Gem Fan. These are the Gem Fan 50 55s. Hokey props. <laughs> so, Hokey props for 5 inches now. And I'm just expecting these to be really nice. But for now, I haven't tried those yet, so maybe I'll try it on this. This thing has a really nice, clean-looking build. The motor wires are in this braided covering here. 
although it does seem like it might fray here on the edges there for the most part it looks really clean really nice looking build independent arms here this camera here was touted as a CCD camera although I think it's a CMOS camera it doesn't handle changes in light as well as some of the other CCD cameras that I've seen so I don't know why they would say that this is a CCD camera and knowingly put a CMOS camera in here but that appears to be what happened but other than those few minor things that I mentioned this thing is an awesome quad really nice flyer the Aurora RC B-Fight 210 Thanks for watching.